you, Tamatelli. To get us going from left to right, and they go direct straight away. Their skipper trying to launch one forward for Jay McGowan. Reverse pass as well. Plays it to Armson. Lovely one two between Gibson and Armson. It's Gibson at the near post, and he nearly threaded it through everyone. So Greta holds the ball up. Going off a little bit of pace as well. And Vision, if he can find the pass, it falls back to Segreto. Goes to the outside of the boot. What a goal by Jordi Segreto. We've seen some amazing goals this season. That might be the pick of the bunch. Innings from Franco Parisi. Simmons looks for the diagonal ball. Flag stays down. It's Gibson. Cuts in on his left foot. Still with Gibson and straight in. Venture forward in the meantime, and a little bit of pace here. Still going, this is lovely football, and it's sent over the bar. First chance from Sutherland, it was Karkovsky. He's opposite fullback, we've seen him do that a couple times. So outside of the boot, Kaspers does well to bring it down, and it's another amazing goal from Apia. Kaspers, I don't know how he managed to control that, but not only did he control it with a beautiful touch, Sutherland fans can't believe it because their team is on the back foot once again, drilled low and hard. And danger not over yet, it's Armson who forces her. Doing a fine job down that right-hand side, as is his opposite fullback, Seiya Kambayashi, who's on the ball now. He's got two up your players waiting in the middle. One of them is Gibson, and that is 3-0 for Apia. And that is the cherry on top of what has been a perfect first half performance by the defending champions who are flexing their muscles here at Seymour Shore. It's up here three, Sutherland nil. Take your pardon, Kukowski. Switch. What's the Greto? It's Dakota Askew. Lovely ball for Jack Armson, and it's four. Can you believe it? Up you have their fourth goal here at Seymour Shore. Dakota Askew. Lurking and an absolutely insane scoreline here at Seymour Shore. A lot of people would have expected Rock Bottom Sutherland Sharks to make a response or a statement here in the opening half, but no one would have predicted this scoreline. Another defeat which will leave them Rock Bottom. It is the team leading by four goals to nil. Apia that get us underway and they will be going from right to left. Challenge late by Stamatellis, but they play on. And they played out wide to Segreto, who tries to float it to the back post. Ricochets and falls back. And then buried into the back of the net. It's another. Up your goal. And McGowan flag stays down. This is another chance at Siemens. That's a good save by Nenad Vekic. Sitting directly under me. This is not going to fire them up at all because they are in. Is it going to be six? It's a little bit of a heavy touch. Gibson gets around the goalkeeper. He tries to square it for Simmons, and it somehow stays out. Unselfish there. Yeah, who are absolutely cruising here at Seymour Shore. And headed to the back post, and leaping above the pack was Temba Muata Malo. And it is 6-0. Went wide, and it's Rory Jordan who toes it through. For Gibson, who manages to get there first. He is on a hat trick, cuts in on his right foot. He does well, unselfishly plays it back for Luigi Di Troia. Lovely, unselfish work there from Ben Gibson for that seventh goal, and they play it. Long now, Fernandez, and that would have been a frustrating afternoon. It could get even worse now as they burst forward. It's Den Mead. Den Mead low, hard, and saved. A great performance from him and the rest of this Arpia team. On what has been an absolute demolition here at Seymour Shore. A clinic from start to finish as the defending champions remind everyone why they are the defending champions. You don't need to adjust your headset because Arpia have won. Right. Seven goals to nil against the Sutherland Sharks. Still plenty of football to be played in 2024.